I had somebody asked me the other day, what do you do with artichokes? I don't get it. I brought these home and what am I going to do with them? And they are rather intimidating. Believe it or not, these are the result of, of the thistle family. It's a, it's a part of the flower of a thistle. Um, and thistles can be rather thorny, crazy looking things. So this is, this is an artichoke and this is what this looks like. And if you run your hand over the top, you're going to hurt yourself because there's little thorns that stick out here, but there's a way to get rid of them. The first thing though that we're going to want to do is cut the, top, the bottom off. You just use a regular knife and you want to get it sort of as flat as you can because you ultimately want it to stand up on somebody's plate. The next thing you do is you cut the top off like so. Now you've got it all cut. The thing a lot of people will do is put lemon on it to keep it from browning, but I, I don't necessarily do that. I just kind of go with it. The other thing you need is a pair of kitchen shears, and I strongly recommend everybody have at least two pairs. I use these all the time, and then I'll show you at another time um, how to bone a chicken with a pair of uh, kitchen shears. So now that we've cut off the top, all we have to do now is cut those nasty little thorns off, and you just go around and do it like so. See, isn't that simple? But you, you do want to get them all off because they, they, um, they will stab you. Don't, don't uh, just say, I'm, I'm just not going to do it because it, aesthetically it looks better and also, you know, somebody's going to end up stabbing themselves and crying like a big baby. You don't want that. So just get all of these done and then you've got a nice uniform looking artichoke. In the meantime, you're going to want to have a great big pot going with water and I use a steamer basket on the bottom. I'll show you that in just half a second. Let me get this all done. And then on the bottom here, you might even want to just kind of pull some of these bigger leaves off the bottom because they, they, they get a little bit tough. And there's your perfectly done artichoke and it's ready to be cooked. And you do that with all of these and you put them all in. So take off the bottom, take off the top, and then you can go crazy. And this is, you know, again, this is something you can teach your kids to do. It's pretty simple. I do give it to the older kids, but you know, you're, they're dealing, once you take the top and the bottoms off, you're dealing with a pair of scissors here and it's pretty cinchy. They can, you know, they can cut paper, they can cut artichokes up. When you're done with these, I like, some people like to dip them in lemon butter. Some people like to dip them in just mayonnaise, but I will make a strong case here. Uh, I think mayonnaise is the best and you really have to use that full fat mayonnaise, you know, like a good one, like a Hellman's or something because that reduced calorie business is no good. The way to tell if an artichoke is done is you put it in water. They take about, oh, a good 35 minutes or so, depending on the size of the artichoke and what have you. And once the artichoke is done, it's, it's uh, easy to find, figure it out because all you have to do is pull on one of these leaves and the leaves should come apart easily. They get a dark green when you're um, cooking them and that's fine. You don't mind a dark green. Um, it's not one of those types of vegetables that you want to blanch. And again, you want flat so it stands like that. This is the heart part, the heart part, <laughs> this is the heart of, of, the, um, of the artichoke and once you take all the peels off, you're left with this, this round and there's the thistle right in the middle and you just take a spoon and take, dig that thistle out and uh, eat that up because that's like one of the best parts of it. But there you go, there's another one of your artichokes. You just put it in there and you can see you've got right on the bottom there, I have my steamer basket. So you don't even need to have it all the way emerge. Here's another one. We're going to do this one really quick. Take that down. Two more. This one. That one. There we go. Cook, my little friends. All right, that's it. You've got them in there. They're ready to go. They'll be boiling here shortly, 35 minutes, and you're going to have yourself some amazing artichokes. And just remember, a plain mayonnaise or a lemon butter kind of a dip for everybody to dip in. Make sure you put bowls on the table so you can discard those leaves and enjoy them. They're delicious.